Hello, I'm ABX Toycat, and this is Seed Sunday, the weekly series I run on my channel where I show some of the best seeds that do currently exist for Minecraft on the consoles, or that have been founded for that matter. And uh, this week's seed is one, because I like to vary from amazing seed to particularly strange seed, this week's seed is one that probably, uh, you know, falls more into that second category because it is a especially strange seed with a lot of weird biome mixtures with a very, very strange nether formation, but also it has a zombie village, a 1 in 50 spawn chance, keep that in mind, one of the rarest structures you can find. It has another village, which is kind of like buried a little bit, and it also has a bunch of extreme Extreme Mountain Island. So yeah, lots of weird stuff going on that I think you'll all enjoy. Hopefully you all do. You can like the video if you enjoy it because it helps out the channel a lot. And let's know you do like Seed Sunday. But with that said, let's get straight into talking about the seed. The seed's going to be on screen right now. If you type in those big list of numbers, then you'll spawn just over here on this little bit right next to this river. As you can see, it's a very, very wide river, a lot wider than normal, and also next to this forest and on this plains right here. So it's a fairly nice spawn location. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's nice because you can have access to, uh, you know, a bunch of flowers. You can have access to food. You can have access to all the stuff you probably want. And also you have pretty decent access to this waterway. So the waterway is a good way to get you to a few of the things we're going to be showing off, like the first thing, which is found at the very, very west of the map. So again, I don't recommend going here at first, but it's something you might really enjoy and might want to go too fast if that's your weird thing because it is the tiniest village in the world one of the tiniest villages in the world it's just one house one mini house and one crop planter and that is everything and both the houses the reason this is so great is both the houses are actually buried below the ground which keeps them safe from zombies as it so turns out so yeah you got two villages and they'll always stay in there and they'll always be safe because the inside the houses cannot you know like have zombies in there at least as far as i can tell which means you always have a librarian and you always have one of these dudes which is just oh apparently it's not based on the thing but so you're gonna be pretty lucky and the only way in and out this place is to break in through the windows because again you can see how the floor is literally covered that much and over here it's the exact same thing where it's literally walled up with dirt you don't usually see windows that are just you know replace of dirt but in this case that's exactly what you see in both cases so uh, yeah well, I said this is the first village it's pretty cool but it's not the only thing that's worth checking out and indeed it's just like kind of a sideshow before we go to the zombie village so yeah the zombie village also on the way you can see there's a ravine here uh, it's, it's a pretty bizarre ravine because it, it takes place in an island so you see how it like cuts across and gets cut off by ocean on both sides which isn't a normal uh, trait but yeah basically if we head to the east of the seed instead if we head over this giant mountain found over here because this seed has a lot of mountains you know interesting ones as well as regular ones but if we head uh, all the way to the east then what we'll find is the second village uh, again there's two villages in this uh, seed they're both uh, you know uh, regular villages but they're both exact opposites because this is a zombie village which means every single villager is replaced with a zombie and all of the doors have been bashed down it's you know it's like a rare spawn chance to simulate what would happen if instead of you getting to the village first these zombies did which as you can see they got here and then they started burning to death or something. But yeah, you can also get yourself two bits of free armor to help you fight the zombies. You get a free bit of bread. And you get a lot of experience fighting zombies. So at least on console right now, these zombies will spawn as regular zombies, not as zombie villagers. So, you know, you, you basically it's just an opportunity to find a bunch of villagers chilling around the village. I can actually hear one of them, but I don't know which house he's in. Oh, there we go. We got it. Okay, so zombie villager found right there. So apparently they might, might fix that. Or oh, this was lucky. But as you can see, uh, only one of the villagers will survive after a while. So come here first if you want to keep the villagers. If you don't want to keep them, then come here or like come nearby here and then run away because they should start to despawn after that. So yeah, fun little thing you can do. Apparently here's a regular village uh, zombie too. So with that said, this is the zombie village. It's pretty great because it has a blacksmith chest. It has all these crops for you to get. It's entirely deserted, which means no annoying villager noises, which might be a big thing for you. And also, if you dig down from the uh, well, so just at these corners right here, you only have to dig down about 30, 40 blocks and you'll find yourself at a skeleton spawner. So skeleton spawners are usually the more desirable of the uh, you know free types because obviously, you know, that you can use them for bones, you can use them for XP, and you can use them for arrows, which is a lot easier than going and finding flint to get into gravel, uh, sorry, gravel to turn into flint, as well as feathers from chickens there's lots of steps involved whereas if you just do it that way you can do stuff great so we've also got a golden apple in here which is pretty you know it's, it's an amazing little bonus as well as some melon seeds which you won't find elsewhere so very important you come to this chest also you find a name tag you find some more diamond wall armor and just in general it's a pretty great place to come and check out if you want to I, I, again i feel like it's right next to the village so it's a great base for you to attack the spawner from or like you know get in and out of there from so would totally recommend digging down from here placing a ladder and having an easy way in and out of a mob spawner slash arrow farm so with that said, let me move on to the north, uh, you know, of, of here, because this is the part of sea, uh, the seed I mentioned as being like really, really bizarre, because it is a giant ocean, but the ocean is separated by these weird extreme hill islands. So they are islands and they are extreme hills at the same time, which is something you don't see very often at all, especially not to this kind of scale. And it's just very, very strange. Also, there's an island over here that's like an S shape. So 
maybe you could use that to your advantage or something. But yeah, basically, there's just a lot of islands in this ocean and all of them, but you know, a couple of them are extreme hills. So here's one, as you can see right here, very, very tall uh, mountain, another kind of tall one over here. And it's just a, it's, it's, it's an experience you don't get to see very often. And I think the, you know, the, you know, the reason this is so great, the reason I think it would be something I'd want to check out on a sea is because if you have boats, then these actually block off the land view and it makes the world feel bigger. It's not this boring ocean. It's this ocean that's divided by giant mountains. And if you have like a boat based game that you want to be more fun and a bit more tactical, this is the place for you. Maybe that made no sense, but I think mountains in the ocean is actually a great thing, and maybe you do agree, maybe you don't. Who knows for sure? I can't work it out until I read the comments, but I think that's amazing, and it's also uh, bordered by this giant, uh, you know, icy plains right here. It's got free trees in it, so I don't know if you still count those icy plains, but it is a plain spine that's covered in ice, and it also has a lava lake here. So this lava lake is especially interesting because, again, having lava inside a snow biome seems counterintuitive, but it just about works here, and it's, uh, I think it's a good kind of juxtaposition, like, ooh, there's this very cold thing and this very hot thing right next to each other so yeah you could probably use this to your advantage you know dig it out a little bit make it a bit more you know attractive a giant circle whatever you want to do with it there is a giant lava pit here for you to play around with and also to make a base here i think i think this would be a great island to set down with because it's connected by land by just one side so it feels like an island but also it's not the same time if you don't want it to be again i think that's just a, a nice little thing you can do there so finally if we head to the north of the sea so i guess northwest from here we head across another lava lake which uh, this one also shows off the map so you can always uh, find both of them very easily but also it's pretty interesting because it's got this weird like staircase built into it like oh you can hop from here to here to there i don't know why that's there it's just a weird generation feature but it's something you can find right there and also there is a swamp uh, hut I guess they're called the Witch's Hut, not the Swamp Hut. You know, I, I like to call them the Swamp Temple sometimes, but yeah, we've got the uh, Witch's Hut right here, which as you can see is uh, right on top of the Extreme Hills biome, so a little strange stuff going on there, but it is a witch and it will allow you to kill it. And also, because, uh, you know, it's actually built into the hill, you can jump into this without having to place any blocks yourself. So if you want to kill witches or you want to get a cauldron without doing anything else, this is the place for you. So I think that's wonderful and uh, it's a thing you can get at these coordinates right here, very, very close to the top of the map. So there's a few other things that are kind of interesting and worth checking out, like there's flower forests, which I think is wonderful. There's this giant birch forest, like seriously, look at the size of this birch forest, by the way. Um, you know, there's a lot of, uh, you know, bizarre biomes like this that I think make the seed, uh, you know, have some interest to someone, like maybe this extreme hills is your perfect thing. Maybe this plains biome over here is just your perfection. Like, oh, it's so, it's so far away. It's in the corner of nowhere. And it's like also all, almost an island. Whatever you want, I think the seed has a lot of interesting uh, things. Again, everything's different and bizarre, which is what you probably want from this week's seed. But also, going to the Never reveals something even stranger and something that I think has to be a glitch even with this seed or with, um, indeed, the Never generation in general right now. I can't tell you which it is, but I can tell you that something is up because if we go to the very top left of the seed, I'll actually show you my Nev portal I did make. So if you want to make a Nev portal just over here, you know, higher up's better, but yeah, right here will work too, and you go through it, what you're going to find yourself is in this little cave over here. So this is actually like a very raised cave so, you know, it's, it's great for that reason. Uh, you're, you're less likely to be attacked by gas because there's just less area. So it's a wonderful place to go into the Never, which I think is good enough reason by itself. But also, and also, Never Quartz, isn't that wonderful? But if you look, there's a bunch of glowstone and there's like five uh, bits of glowstone in a row, as many as it could do before it hits the big wall and it can't do any more. But then after that, it, you know, it re regenerates one just over here again. And you're going to see how like, that's how the whole kind of world works. Like there's glowstone whenever it can generate in this exact, uh, you know, like, area and pattern and you might think Toycat no that's coincidence why why I never coincidence is so amazing to you well the reason I know it's not just coincidence and I know it is some bizarre glitch is because if you look at the never uh, you know the uh, the glowstone formations they're the exact same one each time so like try and remember what's going on here this is like a cross pattern so like chopsticks almost you know like one on the right one on the bottom then two up two left uh, oh what's that oh wait <laughs> that's actually that, this is the bad example but if you look at all the other ones you can see they have this exact same kind of c-shaped thing with a, a thing going off the left uh, as, as much as they can generate and uh, if we look to the, the top here, as you can see, it's three blocks in like this weird formation of like, uh, you know, one, one on each side, basically showing each angle. Then there's the same thing found just over here. Same thing found just over here. Same thing found just over here. Same thing found just over there. And except there's a Neverack block blocking one of them. And my point here is that this is the exact same formation taking up the exact same blocks and they're all directly in front of each other. Can you see that? They all line up perfectly because this is the exact same piece of Neverack that, uh, sorry, uh, exact same piece of glowstone that cloned itself and then cloned itself and then cloned itself at the exact same interval. Look at the, look at the interval between them. It's the exact same uh, thing of like, you know, actually let's work it out right now. So this is a, uh, what is that like? Uh, ZX108, and this is at X124. There is exactly 16 blocks between each one of them, which um, makes things even more confusing. Don't ask me what's going on there. So 92, and then this next one would be at, let me do the maths in my head. I guess that would be, uh, my maths is terrible, 76? 
just like that, and then it would be 60 after that, and just like that, you can work out where each of these is going to be, which is just nuts to me, the fact that it's the exact same formation, copy paste it at the exact same uh, lo uh, location, and I think it might be something sort of a never glitch that maybe can be exploited in some way. Also, look, four gas in a row, that's crazy. So, yeah, I hope you did all enjoy today's video, I hope you learned something about it. Maybe this never thing was what interested you, maybe the zombie village, again, super rare chance, or maybe it was just some of the weird biome stuff, either way, I hope you did enjoy it, and you can like it if you liked it, like it, is it sorry, uh, share if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here, because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel, and if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.